Good afternoon, everybody. This is Tina Ogren. I am the founder of Go Fitness Virtual, and I'd like to welcome you to the Silver Sneakers Classic class this afternoon. This class will be 45 minutes. We are going to um, go do a warm up. We're going to try to get our heart rate up. We're going to alternate that higher heart rate with um, some strength training exercises. Usually even with strength training, I try to keep that heart rate up a little bit. Um, today we're gonna do the weights in a seated position. So um, just know that so you can, can kind of set um, handheld weights aside. We'll use a band and we'll also use a ball. Those are kind of the tools that Silver Sneakers uses. So if you wanna grab all those, that's great. If you don't have some of those, um, those tools, don't worry about it. You can do any of the exercises without resistance or just find something in your house that might provide a small amount of resistance that's easy to grab a hold of. So feel free to, to, to find whatever you can um, that's around your house. I will also suggest that you stand behind your chair as you're working so that if you happen to lose your balance, you can reach out and stabilize yourself. I uh, will move my chair because you just noticed they can't see anything my legs are doing if I'm standing behind my chair. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get it out of the way and I'm gonna start our music. You're gonna march it out. Hi, Diane. Mary, hello, hello. Good, take it out wide. Okay, now we're gonna keep those feet out. You're gonna take it to a tap. Now you can keep your arms right here or you can start reaching the, the one arm up a little higher. Good. I hope you all are feeling good today. Ready to get some exercise in so you feel better in the evening. Love it. Good, now tap back, push forward. And now press it out. And back to front, right in front. One arm at a time, reach it up. All right, we'll wake up our muscles. Get every heart rate going a little bit higher. Oh, you're gonna feel better, you are. Good, hands on your waist, leg curls. Now we're gonna take the elbows up, palms down. Push back as you're kicking your heel back up toward your rear end. If it's too much to do it all at once, just do the upper or the lower, it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna take it doubles. Double curl, double kick back. Keep those elbows up if you can. Step touch. All right, we're gonna take the upright row where our elbows are coming out to the sides like you're pulling your pants up. If you have shoulder problems, you can keep those arms lower. You can take and lift the elbows great to where their shoulder height, that's awesome. Heels in front. Just alternate the heel. Now kick it out. Four, three, two, march it in. And take those knees in, move those arms. This helps loosen up your core. Just a march with bringing the knees in slightly. Making one circle and the other with those hands. Tap it out. 
Good. So your toes tap it out to the side. The arms are a little more like kind of halfway between your leg and shoulder height. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and take them up to shoulder height. Go right ahead and do that now. Now we're going to work on a little balance. So you're going to lift that leg out to the side as the arms come out shoulder height. Good. And back to the tap. Reach it up. So one arm at a time is reaching toward the ceiling. I always think a little bit, almost more where the ceiling and the wall intersect in front of you. Good, march it in. All right, we're gonna take one foot in front. So it's now it's time to stretch our legs out a little bit more. All right. So one heel down, just take your hands at the top of your leg. So one leg is straight, that heel's down, your back is flat. So you're pushing those hips back, now breathe in. And then exhale. Breathe in and exhale. March. And other foot. Here we go, hands at the top of the leg, push back. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. That nice stretch. Take it out wide. Okay, we're gonna go back to those leg curls. I want you to think about stretching out the front of your legs. So this too is a stretch. We're just gonna move it. We keep that heart rate up. All right, now go to the tap where you're pointing your toe and stretching out the front of your ankle. Shoulder roll, that shoulder comes forward then pulls back. Now lift the elbow. And back stroke. Now it's elbow. And shoulder roll. Take it out wide. Okay, hands right above the knees. We're gonna drop one shoulder. And now switch, drop the other shoulder. And switch. And switch. Good, center it, round it, come on up, deep breath in. Exhale, breathe in, and exhale. Okay, time to grab that drink. Real quick, and we'll be right back. Go Fitness Virtual is more than just live virtual fitness classes. You'll also find Go Fitness University. We started Go Fitness University as a place to hold all of our brief lessons and focused educational content. Most are three to five minute videos. You'll find videos illustrating modifications to certain exercises and a few short morning stretching and warm up routines. And as we interview topical experts, those videos and articles will also become part of the library of content that we call Go Fitness University. Now water breaks over, enjoy class. Yes. March it out. Most of us do not drink enough water and we really, really need to. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more cardio. We're going to take those feet out hip distance. Just tap in, bring that opposite arm around. Now we're gonna bring the knee toward the elbow. Elbow toward the knee. If you wanna stay with that toe tap, stay with the toe tap.
Now I'm gonna reach my arms up and pull it down. I love what these do for your core muscles. Keep it up. You got it. Step touch. Make some muscles, bring it in. Now you can drop those elbows or you can pick it up a little bit more. I'm gonna alternate. I'm gonna take my arms up, then bring them in. Modify however you need to. You don't need to reach all the way up. Listen to your body. March it in. Okay, now instead of going side to side with our step touch, we're gonna take it forward. Lead leg, here it is. Step, tap, back, tap. Pump those arms. Now if you wanna lift that knee, Lift the knee, take it back. So from the side, just looks like this. See a little bit easier. Now we're gonna kick it out. Reach out with that opposite arm. That may be hard to do for you, so don't worry about it. If you just want to take the kick, that's fine. I know, sometimes those coordination moves are real interesting. That's why we do this, we get better. March it. Okay, let that heart rate come down. We're gonna swing the arms back, just tap it. Let that heart rate come down. So again, I was talking about it yesterday, so much of our classes, when we do these cardios, we wanna take that heart rate up. We wanna let our body recover. We're trying to challenge it. Hey, Ellen, good to see you. And march in. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other foot in front. Let that heart rate still come down. Here we go. Step, touch, back. Okay, so just pump those arms. Good. Kind of get it going. So I'm just turning a little to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm stepping with one foot, tapping, then going right back. I know these are hard. You know how I know they're hard? Because I do them in my in-person class. And I have plenty of people that this is really a challenge for. Which is why you get to do them a lot. Yes. Teaches you balance, stabilizing your body on that one leg while you're moving. So much more than just exercise. Okay, now we're going to kick it out. So step, kick, back, back. Job. Come on, you got this. And march. Swing those arms, tap it back, let that heart rate come down again. All right, now this time we're going to tap back. One arm bends, one arm straight. Okay, so you can keep the arms low if you want to. And if you got that heart rate really high and you don't want it that high, here we go. If you want to take your arm like one out at a diagonal, but don't want to come all the way up, here's a good middle of the road, extending that arm to shoulder height. Or you can take the diagonal, squeeze between those shoulder blades. 
Now I'm gonna kick back. you guys. Next, we're going to grab our handheld weights. So drink first, handheld weights. We'll get started. I'm going to move my chair back. So when I come back, you'll see my chair back here. We're going to use that for some of our exercises. I really like you to see that you can do class seated if you want to. You do the whole darn thing seated. Do not have to be up moving around. People just a lot of times just won't work out if not everything works perfect can't encourage you enough to keep working out, okay? There we go, quick break. Go Fitness Virtual is more than just live virtual fitness classes. Bernie's Technology Corner is where you can find technology tips and tricks and answers to many of your technology challenges. You can also find answers to other FAQs or frequently asked questions. Now enjoy the rest of the workout. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna take my chair back a little bit farther. All right, so from here, the weights are down. I want you to come down. Now you decide how low you're gonna go on your squat. I am gonna touch the back of my legs to the seat of the chair. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna rotate my curl where I'm looking at my fingernails. Now remember, you're reaching your butt back the whole time. Reaching for that chair and back up. Use your thighs to get you back up. If you want to modify and just make it small, do that. Here we go. Down and up. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Good job. and rest. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Now, I like to, most of the time, sit on the front of my chair. Okay, so as we scoot back, you can, we'll do that for leg extensions in a little bit, but otherwise, sit more toward the front of your chair, sitting nice and tall. We're gonna take the weight straight up and down. Gonna come on the outside of the knees and pull back toward your hips. I was just talking to Myrna about those Canadian fires and how the, the air quality is so bad up north. And I know a lot of you are around that area. So I have a lot of people from Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, I don't, all that Great Lakes region. There are many of you. And rest. Best thing you can do is stay in, turn on the air conditioner and uh, Work out inside. Now just tap your toes for a sec. And now tap your heels. I don't know if New York's getting that. You guys are getting rain, so you may not be getting it quite as bad. Tap. And tap your heels. Good. And rest. Now back, straight arms, pull back. Have you guys seen online how there's a video of those? Well, Donna sent it to me. So one of one of our um, members sent it to me, actually. It was an aerial view, and there were five fires that started at the exact same moment. Now, if that's not fishy, I don't know what is. It was bizarre to watch it, and they just popped up out of nowhere. So I don't know if we got a little pyromaniac up there or what's going on, but scary business and rest. But it is really quite a video. If you, um, uh, uh, it's just amazing. Take it out. I don't know if Donna or Shirley or Janice are on today. They're all up in Canada, different different parts of Canada. But they've been sending me different things. So yeah, it's uh, it's really something. And just the way that air quality has been so bad. So I don't know if that'll come down to us or not, but. It wouldn't totally shock me because it's been here before. Kind of comes and goes as the wind blows, right? Yeah. But I saw there's some really, really bad stuff up around Chicago area, so I don't know. 
You guys stay safe, just work out inside. There's no reason you have to be out in that, it's dangerous for you. And rest. Okay, now we're gonna take our palms out, elbows in, want you to curl it all the way up, all the way down. Good, sitting up tall, more toward the front of your chair. Keep it going. Good, exhale every time. Every time you come up, breathe in on the way down. Sometimes that seems counterintuitive, but that's what we want you to do. Your heart likes it better. And rest. Okay, weights on the legs. We're gonna reach one arm up at a time, resting the weight back down on your thigh, and then switch to the other side. If you need to modify or just come up to the front of the shoulder, that's okay. Everybody has different things going on. Nice work, nice work. And rest. Okay, now your arms are down, palms are back. We're just gonna push back, get a range of motion there. I'm kind of leaning forward slightly, but I'm not rounding my back. I'm just hinging at my hips, so that spine is nice and tall. And rest. Okay, now we're gonna sit all the way back in the chair. You're gonna extend one leg at a time. So this is the one where I want your back supported. As I'm showing you this light blue at the bottom of my tennis shoes. Good. Tighten up your thigh every time. It's good for your stretch down the back of your leg, but it really works those four muscles on the top of your thigh that make up your quadriceps muscles. And rest. Okay. Now we're gonna reach forward. We're gonna tap forward, pull all the way back. Make it a little wider in front and around your hips. So again, I'm kind of leaning forward just a little bit. Again, hinging at my hips, not rounding my back, but keeping that spine very tall and straight. Breathe in, exhale. And rest. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and set those weights down, grab a drink, and we're gonna, I'm gonna move my chair out of the way because we're gonna go back to cardio again. So while I'm getting adjusted, you can get adjusted. Drink up, drink up. We'll use that chair again at the end. Hello, Diane. Yeah, Ellen, I figured you probably were pretty. There was probably a smoky. Smoky hint in the air too. All right, we're gonna march it out. I'm gonna slide over to the side a little bit so I kind of stay on the screen. I'm gonna take a double step touch this time over. Don't worry about the arms, just go ahead and take those hands to your waist. Double step, double back. You decide how far you want to step out. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna press down. I like crisscrossing right over left, left over right. Good. 
Doesn't it feel good to be in air conditioning, working out? Yes. Take those arms up chest tight. I just like that you can control your environment a little when you do it in your house. Okay, now the, the leg that you're leading with, that arm, one arm is going to reach up twice, then the other side. If you prefer to reach out in front, protect that shoulder, do that. Nice. Keep it up. Okay, now we're going to take a little circle. So we're going to take it down. Now you're still keeping that double step touch. See how my elbows are in? I'm taking my arms down toward the floor as I start circling around. And you can tap it back if you want. You can make the arms a little bigger. So many different ways to modify it. You can just do your feet. I don't care. I'm just happy you're here, you're trying to work out. Even yeah, if you do 15, 20 minutes, it's better than not doing anything at all. Sometimes we get really trapped into thinking we have to do a lot or nothing, and that's just not true. The research shows that if you do even 10 minute intervals a couple times during the day, that adds up to be like 30, 40 minutes, whatever your minutes are. And march it. Good, that heart rate get up there a little bit, yeah. Breathe in and exhale. Time for those bands next. So either Grab a band with handles or, or just a flat band. Okay. Oh, wow, Margaret. Margaret said around the Detroit area, it's really smoky. Yeah, outside of Detroit. And then you can smell it in the air. I'm sure you can. We haven't been able to smell it in the air. I'm just farther south enough. And it's not hitting us right now, but there were times where it was hazy here even. And I'm in Kansas City, so, okay, and I'm on the south side. So, um, anyway, flat band works, band with handles works. Either one, I'm gonna use the one with handles. It's just really amazing. I need to reach out to Donna or, or Janice or Shirley and find out what's, you know, they're obviously gonna get different news than we get, so. Okay, so either way is fine. I always hold the handle on the side with my watch so I don't scratch my uh, Apple Watch. All right, we're gonna take those feet out a little wider. Go ahead and march it out. Okay, we're gonna alternate these moves. So now I'm taking my feet flat. I'm going into a squat where I come down and I'm pressing out and then I'm gonna squat and I'm gonna press right in front. I also keep sliding back just a little bit. All right, so hopefully you can see me. I know that on Facebook, it, it uh, cuts off my feet sometimes, and I cannot figure out how to do it any other way. So I apologize for that. I just, I've tried, there's nothing that works. So squat it down and out, squat and forward. If I turn it sideways, it looks like I'm in a closet. Yeah, I tried that in the beginning. What, over three years ago, we were trying to figure out how to make it work a little bit better. Breathe in, exhale. So every time you come down to that squat, you're breathing in. Every time you extend, stand up, you're exhaling. One more. And rest. All right, shake those legs out, march it in. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, you have been through the ringer, girl. Okay.
Okay, hope everything's in the right place, I know. Yeah, Elizabeth, Margaret, you guys have both been through some crazy surgeries and different stuff. I love it that you're coming back. Don't let that stuff derail you. Yeah, I'm just so proud of you guys. I really am. Tap and reach down. Because anything that you can do is better than sitting around doing nothing. All it does is atrophies your body. Now, obviously, you have to listen to PT and you have to listen to your doctors. I don't expect you to be coming and doing a full class, right? But even things like stretching, it's good for your mental health. Even if you come and just leave me a message and we talk for a second, that's good for your mental health too. And you're gonna reach those diagonals. Good, good, good. Nice job. And now back down with the arms. So we're reaching across. Now we're going shoulder high. Four here, each side. And now we're going up with that diagonal with those arms. Modifying where you need to. Step touch, rest the arms for a sec. Let's give them a little break. You know we'll get back out again. All right, this time we're gonna keep the step touch. Every time the feet come together, I want you to take a little pulse at the diagonal. I'm not fully extending the arms. Kind of see how I'm, I'm just going to the side so it's a little easier to see. My elbow's still bent. We're just going little pulses to that diagonal. Nice work. And march it in. Okay, take it around front. How are we doing on our time? Okay, we're actually going to set these down because we need to have time to grab our ball. So go ahead and do that next. So the ball is great if you don't have a ball, anything like a hand towel, washcloth, stuffed animal, something that you can pass. I like things that you can squeeze. I mean, you can even take kind of wad up one of these flat bands and pass it hand to hand, okay? Just make it easy, just something easy. Grab a drink. All right, march in. Ball's down by your side. You're going to take it up and then the other side. Good, we're keeping those feet moving. So you, this is easy to do sitting down if you feel like you need to sit. We have such a wide variety of ages and abilities online that I always try to talk about the levels that are lower and working up to the higher levels because you just never know. Not everybody can do the same thing. I see that all the time when I'm in person too. I'm just so happy that you're here and rest and that you're making your health a priority because it is a priority. It just is. Okay, toes pointed toward the corners of the room. Okay, we're gonna take a plie squat, we're coming down, and then we're gonna come to one side, then we're gonna go to the other. I am squeezing my fingers into the ball when I squat down, and when I go to the side, right by my rib cage. If you wanna think waist, if that's better, or even the outside of your hip, that's okay too, any of those areas. I just want that rotation. That shows us we're getting some core muscle, muscular work done. If you can't rotate, do the rotations. Then just come down and take that more into a bicep curl. That works too. Nice. 
one side, then the other. Last one each side. And rest. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our chair. You guys are going to walk around to the front of your chair. Hey, go ahead and have a seat. Or, well, we're going to take the ball in. We're not going to have a seat yet. I got ahead of myself. What am I thinking? Okay, so with the ball in between, or whatever you're holding on to, you're kind of trying to sandwich that in between. If your knees are touching or ramming each other together, do it without the, the thing between your legs. The ball works best. It really does. Now I'm just going to tap a toe. So I have to point that toe. Can you feel that stretch? coming in your ankle, but it's also coming in your shin, and you're working the back of your calf just by tapping your toe. Seems like such an easy movement, but what I will tell you is when I see these folks in the retirement home that cannot bend their ankles anymore, it changes the way you walk. And when you change the, your gait, the way you walk, you are at higher risk for falling. And I do, if there's anything that I am an advocate for, it is fall prevention. Yes, it is. I would love to take balance class and call it fall prevention and rest. But Silver Seekers doesn't have a fall prevention class. So that's what I do. Go ahead and have a seat. If you have the ball, you're going to take a couple little pulses in while we have it here. Working in our thigh. I'm trying to work your body all the way around so that you've got nice, strong muscles to help hold you up. Those of you that have had surgeries, you can attest to this. When you get done with surgery and you've been laying around for a while, your muscles atrophy very, very quickly if you have not been exercising. Even if you've been exercising, they still atrophy really fast. Good, take it side to side. So we just need to want to stay as strong as we can. While well, you have your health, man, own it. Just be as strong as you can because there's going to be a day where chances are you're not going to be as healthy as you once were, right? Maybe some of you will be healthier because you had some things fixed, like me with my hip. I feel way healthier now than I used to. Good. Push back. And move it around. Good. Hopefully by exercising too, you just have more energy, more stamina. When you do things with your family, do the things you want to do. Hang out with the grandkids. That's what you want. That's what life's all about, right? Extend one leg, chest lifted, reach it out, shoulder height. And now breathe in, fill your lungs, and exhale, reach out. Breathe in and exhale. Go ahead and switch legs. Heel down, chest lifted, reach out. And breathe in and exhale. Breathe in, exhale, hold it out there. And rest. Good. Now we're going to reach underneath one leg. Sit up real tall for me. Point flex. Remember when we were doing those toe taps? Same kind of thing we're doing here. Working that ankle. Now I want you to make a smiley face because I'm hoping you guys walk out of this class smiling. I am hoping that. Life's too short. Let's get happy. What do you say? And now feet on the floor, crisscross at the ankle, or take it up and over. Rotate toward that top leg. But again, if you need to keep both feet on the floor, keep it down there. And relax that leg down. Let's go to the other leg. Sit up tall, tall, tall for me. Extend those vertebrae. Point and flex. And now smiley face. That's it, that's it. 
and go ahead and take your feet on the floor, crisscross at the ankle, or take that leg up and over and rotate. And back to center, take that leg down. Just heel toe out for me, again, working those ankles. Now we're getting a little more into the hips and getting that stretch as we take the legs out and bring them back in. You're working inner thigh, outer thigh, back in. One more time, out, and back in. Okay, one. Hand, I want your fingers up toward the ceiling. The other hand, the fingers are down. Just switch them for me. Work those wrists. And rest it. Take it down to the outside. Now fingertips out. Now you're gonna tuck them under. Out and under. All right, take it down. I want you to figure eight forward and then back. Good. Moving those arms. And rest. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the short sample of one of my Go Fitness Virtual fitness classes. I'm Gina Ogren, the founder of GoFitnessVirtual.com. And I'm John Ogren, Gina's husband and sidekick. If you like this sample of Gina's class, we hope you'll visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com, where we have over 800 recorded fitness classes designed for active older adults. We also have live classes almost every day. That's right. Just go to GoFitnessVirtual.com and click the Get Started button to learn about becoming a member. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope to see you in class. You should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercise demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. If you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. Remember, it's your body and your responsibility. If you like this lesson, come visit us at GoFitnessVirtual.com.